Hi everyone and welcome back. So we have covered these many basic certification and now we are going to try Node.js basic certification. So we will just quickly proceed and continue and then it will present us with the tests. I think there are two questions. Okay, it is creating an environment. Node.js uh, basic certification will contain, I think, either HTTP server related operation or some kind of a Node.js CLI app where you are passing some argument and you need to check something from the process object. Uh, I mean, either it can be a simple REST API where you have to track uh, the request and you have to return the appropriate response code with the response object like recipe filter and find recipe step okay first let's try this one find recipe step okay this is the basic certification and this contains this timer ta -ta 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 -ta. okay this is going to be interesting then so it is the recipe and elapsed time right so your company is creating a new recipe management app as a node.js developer you have been a task of creating a basic express app the request to this route returns the index of the current step of the recipe based on the elapsed time in the format if the id passed in the url is missing not found let's understand it with the input so let's say uh, you are passing elapsed time 11 okay the id of the recipe in the url is 4 and the id is 4 and and the fourth id is having this object right so when you pass the id 4 you will get the recipe object like this and elapsed time st sent in the query parameter is 11 this roughly translates to which step will be active for this recipe when 11 minutes has already been passed right because we are at 15 60 so step at index 0 has the timer property 15 so after 11 minutes step 1 will be the, okay so it's only about looking into the timer array properties because first you need to get the recipe object based on the route params and then based on the elapsed time query parameter you need to check which index the timer is at either 0 1 2 3 Okay, so this should be easy looks like what we need to do here is uh, let's go to our routes I think already recipe router is there routes index.js recipe router and here we are going to add our routes so what we will do is router dot get and the router is you are passing id as a runtime argument and here we have request and response and here first you will get the id which is coming from the params request.params.id and const another argument is the elapsed time elapsed time which is coming from request dot query dot elapsed time if it is coming otherwise assign it to zero okay now we need to do a little uh, some checks okay if like is not a number whatever the id we are getting let's say you are passing a string or something like that right so what we can do is response dot status we will say bad request right dot send because we have to cover these cases here status code 400 and string not found we have to send if the id is not found not found and this should be in the upper case okay let's say if id is valid right so what we will do is we will try to get the selected recipe 
selected recipe that we are going to get by filtering the recipe array so we already have the recipes imported we can just do a filter what is something wrong with my keyboard today uh, we are doing filter and here we can just simply check if i dot id what we can do is we can simply return this i think we don't need to do this we are already using arrow function so i can do is i dot id ripple equals to number and whatever the id we are passing we are converting it to the number so we can do the comparison this is going to return an array either an empty array so we are going to get the zeroth index we can also simply do a dot find that will give us either object object or undefined okay if we get a selected recipe means for the route parameter we got the selected recipe right for the selected recipe we will get the timers so you can see inside this recipe object we have the timers right so we can get the timers from selected recipe object we got the timers now we need to get the index at which particular index your recipe is right so we can call one method get index and we can call timers we can pass the timers and elapsed time and once we receive it right what we can do is response dot status response dot status we can send status 200 dot send index because this is the index where your current recipe is if this is not null if this is null then what we can do is we we i mean everything was passed correctly but we didn't find a recipe inside a recipe array so we can say 404 not found and here we need to send is not found this is also somewhere we need to pass message not found not found right if id is valid but still you didn't find the record for that not found okay and then we can simply return after this okay so we are good here now we can run this it should be able to run the test if we see the index app.js we are already including this router index router i think we have to add this in our router which is missing here we have to create a route recipe step right recipe step and the id is the argument right so what we can do is app dot use okay when the route looks like this re c i p e s re recipe step forward slash for this particular case use recipe router okay this will take you to the recipe router there we have the id we are getting the id we are getting the elapsed time which is a query parameter elapsed time and then we are we have to define this get index method get index method will give us uh, the value of the index uh, so let's define this get index what get index is doing because this is the main logic for the whole code it is taking two argument timers right timers is nothing but an array of numbers like array of timers and elapsed time is can be any random value let's say the seven six so we need to find the index where this index six is lying in this array so for that we can run a for loop let i zero i is less than timers dot length 
i plus plus and then we can just do is if timers of i timers of i is either greater than or equal to the elapsed time either you will find a particular match exact equal or it should be greater than then you can just return the i so it's like an index we are returning get index we are calling here and sending it in the the response back and we are exporting the router and specific cases like we need to handle the status code 400 body not found if the id is valid but still there is no record in the recipe then also it is 404 not found then let's run the tests so here is our recipes dot json file which is nothing but these are the timers okay something is wrong cannot set header after they are sent one passing three failing something like in our conditions is not correct we'll go to recipes.js response.send i think we can return from here because it is trying to execute the later statements also that is not good run tests okay i don't like it this looks like uh, the same inside a sync block timers is not defined okay so timers we are getting from selected recipe what is problem with this <coughs> timers is not defined so here we are passing timers oh that is very bad i didn't pass the argument timers and elapsed time this is timer elapsed time here we are getting timers run the tests again I mean we are not able to build the code otherwise we would have caught these errors invalid status code now at least code is running now expected 500 to deeply equals to 200 okay why 500 this one is saying 500 and what are what about the others okay return status code 200 send index So it was a very silly and very small mistake. Uh, what they were expecting is index output like this, right? And I don't know like why this is a big problem sending index as a zero like this. It is like breaking all the test cases. So we have to send index as an object, this an object. And when you run this, all the test cases will pass. Rest all the logic is very basic. I mean, we are not doing any rocket science here. It's very plain and very basic setup. We have done all the test cases are passing. We will submit the code. Now we will move to the 